want to go talk about something. Um, something just popped into my head recently after finishing the small scale group build that was held by BG and uh, at BG's model workshop, which uh, since we mentioned him, I also want to say, ta-da! Thanks, BG, for the shop card. Uh, if you guys haven't watched him, you should. He's freaking hilarious, and he does some great work. This is one of my favorite channels, and one of the reasons why I uh, delve headfirst into this whole YouTube model building channel thing, because I would watch BG, and uh, I, did, I mean, he, he's just, it's just cool to watch. Uh, and I finally got one of his shop cards. And BG, uh, I hope you've gotten mine because I sent one out to you. Um, and I, I can't say enough about this channel. Love this guy. He's freaking hilarious. And not only did he send the shop card, he sent a pretty cool sticker too. That's going up on uh, my sticker wall here. Right next to Frizzle's model cars. He sent me one previously. So, you know what? We're going to put it up right now. You guys can see BG joining the League of Heroes. Right here. Okay, anyway. Guys, check out BG. You're going to love this guy. Now, anyway, what I was thinking was after I finished the small scale group build is... Slump oh, yeah. Muscles. That just popped into my head. When you're building, especially when you're building something that's really detail heavy, something that's really intensive, that you know you gotta put a lot of effort into. You know, you start to think, you know, this will never end. You start to get into a little bit of a slump. Um, not that you don't like what you're doing, you may love it, but it starts to take an extended amount of time to get this thing done and then you start to you know just start to get that feeling that it's something that's never going to end you're never going to get to a point where you want to just look at it and admire the work you've done um i recently if you've been following the channel you know the pops fiero build and that's it right here we're not going to reveal it yet it's almost done but this is going to be revealed at the Pontiac Fiero 40th anniversary uh, festival, which is going to be happening this summer. And I want Greg to be the first guy to see this as this is being done for him. And I have put a ton of effort into this build. I mean, a lot of effort. I have gone, you know, hours and hours and many sleepless nights trying to figure out how to get everything just right on this car to the best of my ability. Um, and like I say, I may not be the world's greatest modeler, but uh, uh, I think I'm I think I'm okay. And I've put so much effort into this thing to make it as perfect as I can for Greg that uh, I want his eyes to be the first one on it when it's completed. Now, that being said, this thing has caused me no end of uh, sleepless nights. A lot of stress at making it as perfect as I can, and it just seemed like I would never be able to get it. You know, it it, it, it was just driving me nuts. Uh, it's almost done now. I'm really, really happy with the results, and I hope Greg's gonna love it. But it started getting me thinking about, you know, what's next, and then you start to think to yourself, I know what projects I have to do next. I have another build for another buddy of mine, and. Um, the first thing that pops into your head is, oh my God, I got, I'm getting into another high stress build where I've got to make it as perfect, like, perfect as I can. You know, I want the guy to love it. And that, the, 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 you want the recipient to love what you make so much that you really just stress out over it. Um, and, then, and then you just start thinking, where am I going to go? What am I going to do? How am I going to make? And you just start to uh, stress out over the build. I found that what you need, that puts you, well, let's, let me backtrack a little bit. It puts me a little bit of a slump because you start 
getting a little anxiety about what's coming next and how much you're going to have to do. So you start thinking about it and then you, you just get into a little bit of a slump where you don't know what where you're going to go next. I have found, especially after the small scale group build, which I originally wasn't going to join because I do have to finish this build and I have two more to do. And um, I was going to sit this year's small, small scale group build out. But uh, then I decided, you know what, I need something to just take my attention away from what these major builds are. You know, I needed something that, that just just for fun. And let me tell you something. I did the small scale group build. It was the Mercedes Chromes SSK, which uh, is on the channel if you guys haven't seen it. And I had such a blast with that. Just the fact that it was just a silly little build that turned out to be so much fun. It's a small 143rd scale thing. It fits in the palm of my hand. And it just wound up being so much fun that it completely rejuvenated my desire to build. You know, it, it really just uh, started the creative juices flowing. And as soon as I was done with that, I, I just wanted to tear into something else. It really got me going after all the, you know, stresses of building something as perfect as I can. And as soon as I finished that, I jumped right back into the Pop Fiero to do the few details that were left and I loved it you know all the stress was gone all the all the anxiety was gone and I just loved what I was doing on this Pops Fiero again I did added a few more details I decided to add one more thing that I at first I wasn't going to do it because I didn't know if it would come out right and I was started stressing over it you know am I going to ruin this thing by trying to add this one more part how am I going to get this done? And I would, and I just started stressing over it. After I did that small scale group build, which uh, uh, if you haven't seen it, I'll put a picture of it right here. Somewhere here. After I did that small scale group build, it was just like the floodgates just opened. I jumped right on the Pop Fiero build. I threw that extra little detail in there and it came out exactly the way I wanted to. And... It, it was it was just fun. It was fun again. So I'm just gonna say that slump breakers are a vital part of our hobby. You know, slump break just something that you do just totally for fun. Doesn't matter what it is. You need it in between big builds. Because it really helps, or at least in my case, it really helps to rejuvenate the creative spirit that gets you into this build. And makes that gets you into this hobby and really makes you want to build more and create more. And for me, it worked incredibly. Because now, the only thing I'm thinking of now, instead of the anxiety of, wow, what am I going to do next? You know, how am I going to create something that, you know... The, the 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 person I'm building for is gonna love. Now the, the it's just, the ideas are just flowing, as to man I can't wait to get started. I can't wait to dive into this next project. I can't wait to finish the Pops Fiero because I'm really happy with the way it's coming out. So um, I'm gonna show you what a, a couple of slump breakers that I have just lying around, which are going to be I'm going to make a habit of in between these big builds. I'm just going to jump on something just for fun. Um, and uh, it's it, and it's it's just going to be something that I have to get into in between builds. Just to bring all the, 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 the fun and creativity back into my head so that I can move on to the next build. So uh, let me show you what one of... Uh, you may have seen a little bit of this one that I had on the uh, channel recently. And it's still not done. But it's going to be something that's going to be fun for me to jump into. Let me show you what that is. Okay, guys. This is one of my slump breakers. This is the Klingon Battle Cruiser that I started uh, well over 20, 30 years ago. And I'm using just as an exercise in weathering just to have some fun uh, creating something different. 
As you can see, I started playing with some of the weathering powders I have and uh, the new weathering paints that I just picked up. And I'm really loving the way this is coming out. So this is just going to be something that I'm going to jump on in between builds. Do a little piece at a time. You know, there's no rush. There's no need to finish it up. I'll do little tutorials on my weathering on the channel. As I do bit by bit. But it's, it's just going to be something that I'm just going to have some fun with. And uh, that's going to be something that I will use as a slump breaker in between builds. Just as the creative urge strikes me. This here will be another slump breaker. As you all know, I love my Gundam kits and my sci-fi models. And the beauty of a Gundam kit is that you can do pretty much anything you want with it. Customizing Gundams has become a genre in and of itself. And I've already built two of these, two different versions of this. And I got an idea in my head when I saw a current release of Gundam, uh, of a Gundam kit called the Museum Series. And it's all in different uh, shades of metallic shades of uh, silver or chrome or aluminum. And I did do a chrome Gundam, but this is going to be my version of the Museum Gundam build. Where I'm going to do all sorts of different types of metallic shades. No color, just metallic shades. It's just going to be a fun project and something to play with more of the metallics that I love doing so much. So that also is going to be something that's going to be tossed in on the channel in between builds and should be a lot of fun. The next thing that I'll be using as a slump breaker is this X-Wing Starfighter. I did a build with Scale Speedworks, Mike at Scale Speedworks, and we did a light side, dark side uh, buddy build where he built this X-Wing fighter. And these are tiny little models, but they're a lot of fun. And this is going to be a nice way to uh, just to jump into building something, doing some weathering, doing some detailing on something tiny that's going to be quick and easy. That's the, And that's the main theme of Slump Breakers. It's not something that's going to be a huge labor-intensive, time-intensive build. These are going to be quick and easy projects that you can complete in a weekend or in the case of something this small you can build this together in, a, in, in less than an hour as tiny as they are but with detailing and painting you can just be creative and have fun with them and that's the whole theme of it and they're all and they're all going to be different subject matter even though these two are spaceships but we have Gundams I'll have some smaller scale cars the dudes and just throwing, and it's just going to be a, a just an eclectic mix of different subject matter, and that's the point. That's the entire point. The entire point. Just fun, you know. No deeper meaning behind it. Just something you're going to do just to have yourself a little bit of fun, slap things together, and enjoy it. So, um, that's as far as I'm concerned, is a slump breaker because it's going to be quick, it's going to be easy, and just allows you to recharge. So, my question to you guys out there, and I would love to see some responses or some videos from you guys. Um, how do you feel about slump breakers? You know, what do you guys do to rejuvenate your creative? urges and get you going on from in between big builds uh let me know i'm really curious as to what you guys might think about this subject um and let's start a conversation about this all right guys that's just what was on my mind um i ran out of things to say now see you on the next one